Hello. Uh, the video I'm going to do today is just a quick one on pollinators for fruit trees. A few people have actually been um, emailing me about you know fruit trees and um, cross pollinators and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I'd just do a really quick video and I'll just go over basic fruit trees and which ones require um, pollinators and which ones don't and what have you. So just quickly, uh, we'll start with apples. Apples require pollinators, so you need two. Now a lot of people ask me when I'm doing orchard work with them, they're under the impression that when someone says they need two, they need two of the same tree, like say two Granny Smiths, but you don't need, you need two different types. All right, so there's lots of different apples, obviously, Golden Delicious, Red Delicious, Red Fuji, Cox's Orange Pippins, Galas, Lady Williams, Granny Smiths, yada, yada, yada. So you need two different ones to cross-pollinate, right? So apples require two. If you're not sure, when you buy an apple tree, ask the people at the nursery or have a look on the card. Generally, it'll say on the back of the card if it requires a cross-pollinator or not, all right? So then I'll tell you which one. So apples, so you need two apples, all right? Now, apricots don't, all right? So you only need one apricot tree. Uh, the best ones I reckon are more parks, uh, stories, travats, Glen Gary's are nice. So apricots, you don't need one. Quinces, uh, major two types of quinces are Smyrna's and Champions. You don't need a cross pollinator for quinces, all right? So just one quince on its own is okay. Peaches, you don't need one either. They're self-fertile. Uh, and there's lots of nice peaches you can get. Uh, you can get white and yellow peaches. You can get Albertas, Blackburn Albertas, J.H. Hales, Tasty Z's, Anzacs, yada, yada, yada. So peaches, you only need one. Nectarines are basically the smooth skin cousin of the peach, so they don't require one either. But nectarines, you can get white and yellow ones as well, okay? So make sure, if you're picking peaches or nectarines, you're picking which one you want. If you want a yellow fleshed one or if you want a white fleshed one. Uh, nectarines, there's heaps of nectarines you can get as well. You can get early rivers, um, gold mines, fantasias, new boys, all that kind of stuff. Cherries. Now, cherries is, uh, are a bit of a mixed bag because some are self-fertile and some aren't. So, self-fertile ones are like Morellos, but they're the sour ones, all right? Um, Lapins, Sunburst, Stella, they're all self-fertile, but some require a cross-pollinator like Napoleons, which are the yellow and red tinged ones. So have a look and make sure if you've got a self-fertile one or if you've got one that requires a pollinator. All right. um, what else? Pears. Pears pretty much require a cross-pollinator. Nashis um, don't always require a self um, a pollinator. They can be partially self-fertile, but general pears, European pears like Packhams and Burbosk and Williams and Josephines, they require a cross pollinator, so check it with pears, okay? You need two with those. Josephine is a good all round cross pollinator for a lot of pears, not all of them, but for a lot. Same with Granny Smith apples, actually, they um, kind of will cross pollinate quite a few apples, but again, not all of them. So if you're getting nushies or if you're getting pears, check the cross pollinator with those too, right? Um, pomegranates, you don't require a cross pollinator for pomegranates, they're fine on their own. Uh, what else? I, I should have written it all down. I did have a list and I didn't, uh, didn't bring it with me. I thought I'd just remember it all. Plums are another one. Some plums are partially self-fertile. You can get, um, say, a plum like a Santa Rosa, which has got a red um, skin, but it's got a yellow flesh. They can be partially self-fertile, but they do better with another one. I think the Mariposa, is the, which is a blood plum, is a cross-pollinator for those. But most other plums require a cross pollinator. You can get damsons and angelinas and green gauges and Coe's golden drops and narrow beans and there's lots of nice plums out there, but most of them require a cross pollinator. Uh, all citrus is fine. Lemons, limes, oranges, grapefruits. Um, they're all fine on their own. Custard apples are fine on their own. Tangellos are fine on their own. Grapes don't require cross pollinators. Berries don't. Blueberries, loganberries, young berries, boysenberries, strawberries, they're all fine on their own too. Blueberries, so you can have just one bush or plant and it'll be fine on its own too. 
Um, keep thinking I've forgotten one. Locuts are okay on their own if you can get those where you are. Not everyone, they're not available like all over the world, so if you can get one of those, they're self fertile as well. Um, and that's basically it. So I hope this has answered a few questions because a lot of people have been, you know, writing and saying, oh, I've got this and what do I need and I don't know if I need this, if I need that and what have you as far as fruit trees go. Because in Australia anyway, or this hemisphere, it's getting into spring. We're only about a week away from spring now, so it's kind of getting into it. So things are budding, things are starting to come out. So, ooh, sorry, the fire just flared up a little bit. Um, so a lot of people have been asking, so... Now's the time to kind of, it's getting a little bit late to plant bare rooted stuff now. Stuff's out in bud. Um, so, you know, but if you can still get away with putting some stuff in at the moment, but it's kind of getting towards the end. Um, the other thing I just remembered too was uh, nut trees. So like uh, hazelnuts, chestnuts, walnuts. You've got to be, chestnuts and hazelnuts are generally fine on their own. I don't have either one. One of my neighbours has got a hazelnut tree. Um, but the gen generally the cockatoos eat them all before any humans get any of them anyway. Uh, walnuts are a bit tricky. There's different types of walnuts. I was actually talking to a guy who's got a walnut orchard near me, and I was having to talk to him about different walnuts, but I don't really know a lot about it to kind of, you know, get on here and talk about it confidently because I really haven't done much research on them. There are seedling walnuts and general walnuts and stuff like that. Almonds, you can get a few different almonds. Most ones that are available are self-fertile. So they're fine on their own. If you want a blossom tree too, I think almonds are the nicest. They generally come out the earliest and the blossoms are really nice, quite prolific, and they generally stay on the tree longer. A lot of other trees, you know, a few gusts of wind and what have you, and they're looking a bit ratty, but the almonds, the blossom tends to stay on there for quite a while. Um, crab apples are another one too that I should mention. Now, I think from memory, crab apples are alright on their own. Like, I've got a crab apple, I've got a yellow hornet, which is obviously a yellow crab apple and it produces fruit every year on its own so as far as I'm aware they're okay I've never seen anything about cross pollinators and stuff like that you can get ballerina apples too which are the columnar apples so they'll generally grow about six foot tall but only about 500 mil wide and still produce like normal sized fruit so they're fine too any miniature stuff generally can will come under the jurisdiction of requiring pollinators or not um, most miniature trees are generally, you can get cherries, peaches, nectarines, stuff like that. But they'll generally say if they require one or not. So I hope this has answered any questions people have about cross-pollinators for their fruit trees and all that kind of stuff. Um, any questions anyway, just give me a yell. I um, keep thinking there was something else I was going to say, another fruit tree, but I've just forgotten anyway. So any questions, give me a yell, but I hope this has cleared up a lot of things for a few people too, alright? I hope it's not too dark in here either. Alright, cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Oh, before I do go, uh, I just wanted to say a quick thanks to everyone with the Video Diary 2, small holding Video Diary. got heaps of comments and emails from people that were really good. Um, so thanks a lot for that. I really appreciate the time you take and what have you to write and, you know give encouragement and stuff like that with the video itself i like i didn't obviously didn't want it to seem like a whine and oh whatever but I, it was more just a, me venting and just kind of getting out both all sides of the story like it's not always strawberries and cream as with anyone everyone goes through ups and downs and stuff like that so but generally thanks to everyone that wrote there was one guy in particular who wrote who'd been sick and he wrote and he watched that video and he started to get into the garden and what have you and you know that stuff like that is just I can't express really in words what it means to me it's really fantastic so thanks a lot alright any questions about fruit trees give me a yell alright cool see ya